Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Oh. Can you hear me? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hello, can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. I cannot hear you. Just a moment. Okay. Can you talk? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. I'm sorry. I think my headset okay. had an issue. <laughs> okay, hello. No How are you? Hi, hi, teacher. Nice. How was your day? Was a little easy. Okay, good for you. Very yes. good. Okay, hello everyone. I can see Jamie too. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Hello, teacher. How do you feel? Um, I don't feel so well, but I'm here. Are you sick? No, no. It's another problem. Oh, see, my family is it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can distract at least a little bit here in the class. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Christian, how are you? Yo, teacher. I'm fine. How, how was your day? Mm, a little busy. A hard day. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that, mm -hmm. but it's Wednesday. We are in the yes. middle of the week. Yes. Yeah, almost, almost Friday, Friday, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's resist a little bit. <laughs> yes. Okay. Who else? Who else is there? I can see Mirna. Hello, Mirna. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. And you? So far, so good. And how was your day? Good, good, busy, but good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think all of us have a kind of busy day, right? Yeah. Yeah. I el, know. Ombligo, el ombligo de la semana, in the middle of the week. <laughs> the middle of the week. Uh -huh. yeah. How can I say ombligo, guys? Ombligo. I don't remember. <laughs> ombligo. Oh Navel. Okay. Navel. Navel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Some people the say, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Some people say belly bottom, but <laughs> belly, uh, belly, belly bottom. bottom. Uh, yeah, but uh, actually, a uh, navel is is the most common one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I have a question. Tell me, guy, how is the platform going? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Excellent. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Remember, it's Wednesday. So every Friday, we need to have an advance. We have to finish on Friday or, or just advance? I mean, remember that the idea yeah. is that you finish one section per week. That's the idea, right? Mm -hmm. So we have four sections. The model is five weeks. So what I don't want you guys is that you leave the platform by the end. That's what I don't want to, okay? So try to advance as much as possible, please. Now, what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Do you remember? Yes, of course. <laughs> uh -huh. What was it? Direct channel, retail channel, and wholesale channel. Beautiful. That's that. a, uh -huh, that's great. Exactly. We were talking about the distribution channels. And what else? Do you remember? Vocabulary. Vocabulary. About what? Um, the same topic, distribution channels. And... And we talk, we we saw the um, the expression, <laughs> <laughs> the expression, yeah, the expression. But it's a certain time, 
Certain expressions. Certainty. Certainty, sir. That Certainty. is the one. Very good, exactly. So we studied a little bit the expressions of certainty or uncertainty. So when you feel pretty sure about something or when you don't feel certain about anything. So that was the topic that we studied yesterday. So please, everybody, remember to review always the topic that we studied. Okay? Now, Today we are going to see in our topic, always related with the topic that we studied yesterday. So can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? yes. Excellent. Yes. So today is May 17th, all right? We are in the unit week, week one. And let's review a little bit the distribution channels. That is what we studied, so... Today, we are going to continue talking about the distribution channels for a product, and this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Volunteer? Is, yes, thank you, go ahead. Distribution channel for a product, class objective. By the end of the class, participant will be able to decide on the most appropriate distribution channel for a product. Thank you. So that is what we are going to do today. We are going to discover which will be the best distribution channel for a specific product, okay? But first, let's review a little bit the types of distribution channels that we studied yesterday. Your classmate Mirna already mentioned them. What was the first type of distribution channels that we studied yesterday? Direct channel. Correct, the direct channels. And what is the characteristic of this channel? This was John process, the manufacturer direct to the customers. Very good, exactly. There is only one step. It's just directly from the manufacturer to the customers. What is the other type of distribution channel? Retail channel. Which one? Retail channel. Retail channel, yes. And what is the characteristic of this one? World channel, World Star channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what is the characteristic of this one, the retail channel? What is the characteristic or what is the difference between retail channels and direct channel? There is an in, um, intermediate, I don't know how to say that. A what? There is a person, uh, intermediate. Okay. Uh huh. And what else? Uh, there is someone before the customer. Intermediary, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So here we got an intermediary between the manufacturer and the, the customer. And what is it? The retailer. Cool. And what is the other distribution channel? Also, channel. Wholesale channel. Wholesale oh, channel. Yes, wholesale channel. And what is the characteristic of the wholesale channel? Uh huh. What is the characteristic or what is the difference? The difference is you are a uh, who sells a uh, who sellers or for distribution uh -huh. and retail and then at uh, the customer. And what is the meaning of wholesale? Do you remember? Uh huh. Maybe waterhouse. <laughs> <Wholesalers laughs> is the is the when 
when you have a when you have a lot of a uh, product at different manufacturing and you have to deliver from other uh, stores or, or, or retailers. That's it, very good. So if you see, those are the different types of distribution channels that we have, direct, retail, and wholesale. So yesterday, some of you were saying that direct channels are better but remember that here is depends on the point of view, right? Because imagine if you are a wholesaler, for you wholesale channel is much better, right? So if you are the manufacturer, yeah, probably for you the direct channel is much better. So it's going to depend. Even as a customer, is going to depend on the type of products that you want to buy, that you are going to decide which retail channels do you want. And yesterday we checked one of the examples. Sometimes we need to buy something that is not here in our country. So basically we cannot use direct channel. So we need to use maybe a retail channel or even a wholesale. So it's going to depend on the situation. Now, is it clear how this channel works? Yes? Is it clear? Clear as Archata? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> All right. Well, now, yesterday we also studied expressions of certainty. Imagine if I ask you a question like, Are you sure? So, for example, everybody, will you work on the platform tonight and tomorrow? Of course. <laughs> Surely. Ah, and the rest of you guys? I'm not sure, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she's honest, right? <laughs> so remember, when we are using expression of certainty, if you are pretty sure about something, you can use these ones. As your classmate said, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> about it. Certainty. Or yes, I am certain. I'm absolutely certain. So I need you to copy this one. Take note or take a screenshot because we are going to use these phrases. Now, if you are not sure, so what will be the phrases? For example, um, what do you think, guys? Do you think that tomorrow there will be a thunderstorm? In my city, what do you think? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about it. What else? Do you know, tomorrow there will be an earthquake. What do you think? I, I am don't positive. know for sure. <laughs> Hey, by the, by the way, teacher, uh -huh. what is, uh, uh, what means, what does mean, well, no, what does mean earthquake? Okay, what does earthquake mean? Earthquake is when the earth move or shake. <laughs> earth. Earth. Mm-hmm. Like the world. Could you repeat the, the question? What does earthquake mean? What does earthquake means? Is right? Mean. You don't need the letter S because mean. you already have the auxiliary. Ah, mean. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, everybody, what do you think? Is that possible that tomorrow... We will have an earthquake. 
I'm not hundred percent sure. <laughs> Very good. I'm not a hundred percent sure. What else? It is a remote possibility. Very good. <laughs> Did you feel the the tumbler today in the afternoon? Yes. yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> You didn't, no. for real. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was around five, <laughs> exactly at five, I guess, because I was just finishing one class, and I was like totally scared because I, 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 I'm very scared about earthquake. <laughs> so, guys, if one day <laughs> there is a temblor or earthquake during the class, I will just run away <laughs> okay <laughs> so, yeah i'm sorry okay those are phrases about certainty or certain so we are going to practice these phrases answering some questions but first i'm going to check attendance and when you listen to your name say present let's start with adriana adriana escalante adriana no Okay, Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. Okay, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay, eh, Germán Durán. Present teacher. Perfect. Héctor Francisco. Present. Okay, eh, Isabel Hernández. Isabel Hernández. All right. Iván Guzmán. Present. All right. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Girón. Present. Okay. Eh, Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. All right. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado. All right. Now we are going to practice. Guys, the first day everybody had the camera on. And what about now? Come on. I want to see you guys. Teacher, please excuse me. I'm driving. All right. If you're driving, it's okay because I don't want you to get an accident. But the rest of you guys, remember, camera on is not optional. Teacher, okay? I'm needing right now. I'm eating. <laughs> you are eating. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> okay. But when you finish, keep your camera on, please. Yes. The rest of you guys, please keep your camera on. Now we are going to practice the phrases that we just study certainty or uncertainty. So we are going to practice these questions with your classmates. For example, look at here. And I want you to answer the questions using the phrases. For example, number one, will humans ever meet aliens? What do you think, guys? Uh-huh. Will humans ever meet aliens? What do you think? I am not sure about it. Ah, very good. That's a good phrase. And you guys, what do you think? I don't I think have... so. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh-huh. I have Anyone? my own doubt. 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 Ah, okay. Doubt. So that is exactly what I want. Okay. I want you to answer using the phrases of certainty, if you are sure or not. And then you can tell me why. Why do you think that? Okay, so we will go to the breaking rooms. We are going to practice these uh, questions. And if your classmate answer, but if your classmate doesn't use the phrases of certainty, tell them, okay, hey, you need to use the phrases. Everybody copy the phrases? Yes? 
Not yes, yes teacher. Not no, teacher. Okay, I'm going to share with you. Well, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's groups. And if you want, you can take a screenshot of the phrases. The first ones are expressing certainty. So this is basically if you feel sure about it. So for example, if you think, yes, I am certain that humans will meet aliens. And I think it's going to be soon. <laughs> or yeah, I am absolutely sure. Or of course we will meet aliens. But if you don't feel pretty sure about it, you can use the other ones. Like, nah, I'm not sure about it. Or I don't know for sure. I don't think so. Okay, so there are two types of phrases. Did you take the screenshots? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let's go to practice. Remember, serious Spanish, everyone, use the phrases. If you don't use the phrases, classmates, tell them. Okay, hey, let's use the phrases. Now, let's go to practice and everybody enter to the breaking rooms. I need everybody talking. I know sometimes there are always people that I don't know why they don't enter to the rooms, but today, guys, do it. I'm going to be evaluating participation during this level. Okay? So let's go. Hello, Christian. Hello, Tima. We have here the questions in who else are here? Isabel Hernandez. Perfect. I'm going to start ask, asking you. Mm -hmm. Will humans ever meet aliens? Mm. I have no doubt about it. You think that humans meet aliens? I have no doubt about, about it. Mm. Ah, I, I am the opposite. I, I have doubt. I doubt. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you, will uh, humans ever meet aliens? I don't know for sure. It's, I don't know. I, I think, I don't think so. Hi, Erika. Hi. Hello. Oh. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. I think I was alone. Can you hear me? <laughs> it was. I was can thinking that too. Me? Yes, yes. I. We can hear you. Okay. I have a problem with my connection. Ah, okay. Sorry, I have some problems with my camera, and I don't know what is happening, but. Mm. I can hear you and can see you. So okay. the first okay. says, will humans ever meet aliens? And what will what will the meeting be like? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think if the if that um meet it can be possible, I think um can be a uh, really, really, really respectful about it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think. <laughs> Come on, what do you think? Uh, uh, we have to use the... the time and uncertain. Uh, 
I don't. I think it's probably yes. So it's probably okay. Yes. Uh, Do you have the phrases, Holman? There, there is a uh, no. Because I have the caption, the, the screenshot. No. I'm gonna send it. To... Yes, I don't. I don't have the. the... Sorry, I don't know if. I saw a movie and the um, they the aliens um act like uh, they are the savers of the of the humans. That is because in the in the movie was like a. Uh, the end of the world <laughs> and the aliens they are like a saviors and they save only children from take them uh, to another planet <laughs> I don't know if this can be possible but maybe it's a conspiracy theory <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really crazy right yes but to be honest, I'm not sure about it because I don't know if we have ever met them, but mm -hmm. we are not we are not so intelligent at first <laughs> like there. We are too um <laughs> how, to say, how to say it? Um not all this um our technology is antique. It's not new. It's not so yeah. advanced. It's not so advanced. That's what I'm think. Photo. Okay. Second question. What what will happen if we keep polluting the environment? Okay, what will happen if okay? Pollutants. Maybe the future is um, is uncertainly. If if you can imagine, if the pollution, if the if the pollution could uh, could reach level really high, how it can be? How it can be? Uh, um. No, how can be the life in our world? What happened? What happened if the pollution in the environment could have uh, levels really high? Pollution. What do you think about that? Pollution. Yeah, I understand your idea, my friends. We can. What's mean pollute, polluting, polluting? Pollution is a contamination. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the if if uh, the the poison in the environment, uh, the people yeah. die, no? Yeah. Yes, uh, it's correct. The people die. Uh, we. We doing uh, the danger for the uh, for for a uh, oxygeno. What what oxygeno? What do you mean? O oxygen. The environment. Oxygen. Oxy oxy yeah. Uh -huh. Is a, a contaminate. 
Ja. Yeah. Is the 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 future and the people uh, little by little the dying. Yeah. The problem is is with the 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 problem is the new new people uh, the children the children. Mm -hmm. Because we we um we make a bad planet for for them, no? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Herman, what you what you think about? It is, it is a big problem in this moment. Um, I think this world is uh, a die soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You? The second question. Mm -hmm. What happened if we keep polluting the environment? Because every day we make more ash and more problem, and then the pollution improve. No, no, Jimmy. Um, I be I believe that in in the future will be the moments that is going to happen. Uh, uh events so like catastrophic mm -hmm. I know I believe that <coughs> what happened this evening um, all the <coughs> all the environment ressures will be returned to the beginning it's like Star game. <laughs> I believe the planet have the past the this skill. <laughs> uh, and I believe this moment happen all the human and animal will be dead. <laughs> yeah, is my is my opinion. Yes, in the second one, no. Okay. Number three, will the climate keep changing or go back to normal? <laughs> For me, no, go back to normal. For me, change for for bad. Because uh, I don't know what I'm saying in English. The temperature temperature improving the global no? and then more hot, the warming. And the, the climate is very, very warmer and rainy a lot. With that, human, human beer human is a beer. beautiful name human for me. Beer. Human, human, human beer. Human beer. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The church. Question. The third questions, yes. Third, uh -huh, uh -huh, third. Will the climate, 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 <laughs> will the climate, <laughs> no. climate. <laughs> ah, you know about climate, <laughs> climate, yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 climate, uh, I think that is climate, climate. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sure, climate, <laughs> change it, Hey, changing, me with changing. Change. will the climate keep changing or go back to normal? Mm. I don't know, Joe. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. for sure. Why? Yes, I'm certain that the 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 climate changing and. Oh, no, 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 sorry. It's negative. So sorry. I'm not sure about it. Yes, I'm not sure about it because the, 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 the environment or the climate, when, when you have a lot of uh, pollution in the climate, the yes. weather changing, the weather changing, you, you feel more hot or maybe cold or in some, in some countries, they, 
they have a, a snow that I uh, that that you never see the the snow in some country, for example. Mm -hmm. I think that go back to normal never. <laughs> the, the, never. Yeah, in my opinion. I, I don't believe it. this is true. I think I think so. I think so. Never, never back to normal to normal situation uh, because we produce produce many many uh, contamin con pollution pollution, uh -huh. pollution? Ma many pollution many pollution with the cars with the um, how you put uh, like a, the, the crop, plastic crop. yeah with the crop yeah. uh, production production many pollution and never never back to normal situation i think you're here now what do you think about it i i think i think that is a another conspiracy theory that is because <laughs> uh, the the climate at this point i think is is very unpredictable i i i don't know what what was the environment or or the climate climate about for example yeah. 20, 20 000 of years or i don't know what is a lot of years <laughs> go back to to this time but um i think if we don't change our our habits or our practices bad practices the the world or the climate is is very decreasing or maybe we have a a very bad future. I don't I don't think so really, but <laughs> okay. But when we like Holman says when we were in in the pandemic, mm -hmm. when we were um how to say it. Um when we were alone, when we, when we were in our home, uh -huh. the atmosphere, the ozono layer, I think it is. Yeah. The ozono atmosphere, I, I don't, I, to be honest, I don't know how to say it, but the ozono yeah. atmosphere close a lot, they, they go better, they get better. Yeah, that is because the better. Pandemic, that is because the, in the pandemic, um, almost nothing <laughs> use their the their vehicles or cars their cars yes it changed that, a lot and the greenhouse gas emissions are very uh, at this at the time and the pandemic that was very low yeah 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 mm -hmm. yes. but i have a question for you i think it's the next question what will you do this weekend Mm. go out and party you don't have any idea you're not sure mm -hmm. <laughs> but you stay with dolphins mm -hmm. yes um, and safe time I, I didn't I, I don't remember what is my ah, sorry, I, I remember right now I went to the beach on December last year. Yeah, for the party of the company. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. But not like you, that you are traveling and having vacation. We finish, the, teacher. We the finish teacher. question. All right. Is it difficult to answer the questions? Mm, a little difficult. <laughs> Did your classmate use the phrases? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, but yes. I feel difficult. To use the phrases or to answer the questions? To use the, the phrases. In the mm -hmm. uh, in the <laughs> <laughs> okay so what happens is that we are not used to using those phrases 
right? Most of the time we just say yes, no, I don't know, right? So the idea is to improve our vocabulary so we can use different phrases, all right? I'm going to check one more team and then we go back to the main room, all right? Very good. Uh, I can feel. Excuse me? Everyone wants rest, but we can't. Yeah. And you, Oscarito? If it, if it does, uh, it, uh, they may life is, I think. Okay, time's up, time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, we are going to wait for your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Okay, time's up, let's go back. All right, all right, everyone, let's go back. Okay, let's see. Could you answer all of the questions? Yes. yes good. Excellent, very good. Did your classmate answer the questions using the phrases? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Of course. of course, right? Absolutely. All right. Did your classmate speak in Spanish? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> ah, that's what I want. That's what I want. Remember, guys, the idea is to use the phrases. I know that we are not used to, right? Sometimes, uh, well, most of the time, we just say yes or no or just I don't know, maybe. Those are the most common phrases but we are intermediate. So let's include more vocabulary. That is the purpose, okay? You increase your vocabulary so you can speak more, all right? Now, there are some things, I was listening to some teams and they were using the phrases. In some other teams, mm, not everybody used the phrases. So be careful with that. And look at these little details. I have pollution improve. What do you think? Is that sentence correct? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes. I don't think so, teacher. Yeah. I don't know if we can improve the pollution. Ah, so what is the meaning of improve? Is do something better. Exactly. So improve means like be better, right? When you do something that makes you feel better or that makes you better. In this case, pollution is a negative aspect. Pollution cannot improve. What we can say instead of improve is pollution can increase. Well, increases in this case because it's their person. That means increase all right i mean much pollution but we cannot say improve remember that improve is something positive for example when you feel sick but you go to the doctor you take your medicine so what will happen with your health your health will improve, improve. 
If you practice your English, if you try to learn new vocabulary, what will happen? You will improve. improve. So you will be better. That is the meaning for improve. Now I have another word. What is the pronunciation? Teacher, Late. I have a <laughs> climate. Climate. Yes. Okay. That is the one. Uh huh. What was your question? Is related with improve. Improve is a regular or a regular verb. Regular. Thank you. It's yes. just that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now next one. Many pollution. Can I say that? Pollution mm -hmm. is is plural. Uncountable. It's uncountable. No, it's un it's Pollution? Ah, it's uncountable. Can I use many with un uncountable? We have to use much. Thank mush you. Pollution. Exactly. So guys, be careful or I'm going to send you to intermediate three again. Be careful. So I was listening in a couple of groups saying capa de ozono, right? How can I say that? Ozone layer. Ozone layer, right? Ozone layer. Everybody want. Can I say that? Everybody want. Everybody wants. Ah, very wants. good. Wants. Remember, guys, if you say everybody or everyone, you have to consider that is third person. person exactly so be careful all right now it's time to continue talking i know that you practice this question so now i want to hear you and you had to talk for one beautiful minute you have to use the phrases and try to give me as many details as possible. I'm going to pick randomly the names. So let's see who's the first winner. Erika Jasmine. Hello, Erika. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to ask. Da, 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 da. Okay. okay, I'm not going to ask an order, okay? Okay, what will you do this weekend? One minute. Okay. <laughs> For to be honest, I don't have an idea. But I'm I'm thinking, but I'm not 100% uh, sure that it's possible that I'm going to go. That I'm going to go to the beach. That's what I'm thinking. But my little sister has a basketball uh, player game, a basketball game. So I'm thinking to go with her, with my family, and, and scream to her. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, that's a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> on me. <laughs> yes, but that's what I'm thinking. Maybe go to the beach or go with her, but if it is possible, stay with family that's what i think that i'm gonna do this weekend but in another way <laughs> <laughs> just by <five> seconds <laughs> invent something <Nine. laughs> okay. thank you so much for your attention <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much you can do it. You okay. can do it. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. You know what is the curious thing here? When Erica was in the breaking room, she was talking a lot, even more than one minute. And now she she doesn't find the words. What happens? It's do you the think pressure. I said uh, it at the beginning? Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's all right no worries now she mentioned something about uh, the basketball game all right so you will go to the match and you will you know be with your sister so uh, you can use the phrase sheer up in this case you can say sheer her up 
okay? That means like what your classmate said, yes, you can do it, you can do it, do it. So that is the meaning of cheer up, okay? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, it's time to pick another volunteer. Let's see who's next. Fatima, hello, Fatima. Hello. Are you ready? Are you ready to talk for one minute? No. Ah, come on, you can do Re it. Re relax, relax. Okay, listen, guys. I don't want you to watch the timer. Okay, just pretend that you are just talking like you do in the breaking rooms. In the breaking rooms, you were talking a lot. So I'm just asking for a minute. No worries. Now, Fatima, da, 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 what will you do on your birthday? Um, my birthday is uh, to September, but I don't know what uh what I do. Um. I think and I'm positive to take my vacations and maybe um uh, oh you know so <laughs> <laughs> and maybe be a a, a travel. Of course, I don't. I don't know who who country. I like to. I like to go to Argentina, or Spain. But I, I don't sure about it yet. All right, you see, you can do it. <laughs> Easy or difficult? Difficult. Ah, come on, but you are doing it. Now, be careful. I know that when you are talking for one minute, you have a lot of things in your mind. You are paying attention to the timer. You are thinking about what to say, thinking about your ideas, but be careful with the expressions, okay? So you said my birthday is to September. What is the correct proposition here? In. At. In. In or on. In this case, you just mentioned the month. So if you say only the month, so we are going to say in. Oh. In. If you say the day, for example, September 10, for example, in that case, yes, we need to say on. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like that. So I don't sure. Be careful. In this case, I need to use the verb to be. I am not sure. Okay. Now, so far so good because you talk for a minute. Good job. Okay, let's see who's next. Hector Francisco. Hello, Hector. Hello. Are you ready to talk for a minute? I don't think so, teacher, <laughs> but I will try. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what can I ask. Um, what will life be when you are 50 or 60 years old? Uh, let me see. I am um, retained, continue work, <laughs> but I like, uh, I, I'm absolutely sure uh, meet another, another country like Fatima, maybe um, South of America, Argentina or Colombia, but I like to meet um, Ecuador, Ecuador, for, because it is very high the 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 level under under the sea. I don't know how to say. 
I like it and I I I insert cent percent uh at one hundred percent um sure uh no the what what the name of the of the civilization civilish silly the south um, and time's up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hector is very inspired tonight. He continued talking. I like that. Really? Is your difficult? Difficult. Ah, uh, but you are doing great. Now, just be careful when we use the verb meet. Because remember that meet is when you know someone by the first time, but most of the time is for people, right? So if I say, I want to meet a, another country, mm, what do you think? Can I use in that scenario? In my opinion is no. No. Uh -huh. Exactly. We cannot say meet. We are going to use? No. No. Okay? Okay. That is Thank the one. You. You're welcome. Now, um, let's see who's next. We have time for another participant. <laughs> Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Are you ready to talk for a minute? Um, yes. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Will humans, will, well, when will humans live on another planet? Human, please. Uh, and no, Try. Do you think that the humans will be able to travel to another planet? What do you think? Uh, my idea need no would you like to change the question mm. I will change the question no worries okay let's change the question what will you do this weekend uh huh. What will you do this weekend? I'm not too sure. Will you go to the beach to sleep, work, study? Is the 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 Monday a a Saturday is the the job. Uh huh. In, in my the, what do you say? Entrada? Enter. Enter. Enter in the seven 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 a.m. I I accident the forty four five p.m. and can and. How about, how about on Sunday? What will you do on Sunday? On Sunday is the in the dry in the seven uh, seven and my wife and a student in English and he am uh, return in, in my house he, he what do you say, cuidar? Look after? Look after and the uh, uh, children. Uh, okay. Bueno, yeah. Children, <laughs> yes, time's up. Okay, Carlos, look, not so fluent, but you were talking, all right? So guys, confidence. Okay. Ok, confidence. That's what I need. E y eso es para todos. This is for everyone. Ok, confidence. Um, yo sé que no es fácil. 
y I'm going to say this in Spanish porque quiero motivarlos a todos. A veces nos falta eso, nos falta confidence, ¿ok? ¿Cuánto tiempo llevan estudiando inglés? ¿No creen que ya llevan un poquito? Yes. Ya llevamos un par de meses, cada uno. So, I mean, aviéntense. So, for example, at Hector. <laughs> Hector dice, no, I'm not ready, but here we are. Okay? And that's what you have to do. Don't be afraid. No tengan miedo a equivocarse. I mean, equivóquense aquí en la clase. There's no problem. I mean, yo no los voy a regañar por equivocarse. Okay? So, don't be afraid. Inténtenlo. Nada se pierde. ¿Entendido? Yes? Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Very good. And yes. this, is, this is for everyone. No solo por Carlos. This is for everyone. Yo siento que a veces no, no mucho creen en ustedes mismos. Y necesito que se lo crean. Si yo creo en ustedes mismos, mucho más ustedes tendrían que creer más en ustedes mismos también. Got it? Yes? Yes. Great. Okay. Yes, got it. Very good. Okay. We will continue talking for one minute, but First, we are going to learn more phrases of certainty. This information is on your manuals, okay, in the page 12. Now, what happens if I want to use some specific phrases? Look, I have this little box, and here we are going to learn how to use phrases like certainly, obviously, Surely, doubtless. Okay, let's just start with those one. So, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Expression of. I'm sorry. Okay, continue, Lucy. No, you Magda first, first. Magdaleno, you will read the next paragraph, okay? Yes, yes, of course. Expression of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. Very good. Thank you. Now, these phrases are a little bit different from the phrases that we have been practicing. These words have like a specific position in a sentence. For example, if you have the verb to be, remember, verb to be is always a little bit special, a little bit powerful. So the verb to be goes first. So for example, the investors is certainly coming tomorrow. Okay, so if you have the verb to be, first the verb to be, and then you will say the word certainly or obviously, all of these words have the same position, okay? Can you tell me a sentence using the verb to be in one of these words? What do you think? Obviously. Uh-huh, go ahead, tell me a sentence. Imagine we can say, it is obviously, True. That my students <laughs> will work on the platform. Ah. But on weekend. <laughs> ah, okay, but on weekend. Look at this. I have the verb to be. And the word obviously goes after the verb to be. We cannot say like, it obviously is no we cannot say that if you have the verb to be the word will be after can you think in another example uh-huh what do you think using the verb to be could be my boss is obviously angry <laughs> ah, all right, let me write it. My boss is obviously, oops, 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 obviously angry. When with, I buy a 
when I arrive late. <laughs> ah, okay. When I arrive late. Look, I have the verb to be and then the word obviously. Instead of obviously, we can use different words. We can also use certainly or surely or doubtless. Now, what happens if I have a different verb, a verb that is not the verb to be? What will happen? In this case, the word will be before, okay? So let's think about an example. In this case, imagine we can say something like, let me change this. We can say something like, um, my teacher, <laughs> uh, let's use the, which phrase can we use? Certainly, certainly <laughs> want me to work on the platform. Okay, look, well, sorry. I have the word, I don't have the verb to be. I have another verb. So if I have a different verb that is not the verb to be, the phrase will go before. Is it clear the difference, everyone? Yes? So it's just the... one word to be, teacher. Yes. With the verb to be, we change. If you have the verb to be, okay, the verb to be will go first. But if you have a different verb, the other verb goes after. Okay? Okay. Good. Can you think in another sentence following this order? First the phrase and then another verb? Sorry, miss. The rule is always uh, when you use the verb to be is after the verb to be, but in the, the other case is before. Is yes. it the rule? If you have a different verb. Yes. If you have a different, okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh huh. Can you give me another Thank example? You. Extra points for the ones who give me examples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. You don't have to work on the platform if you give me examples. Did you? Give me I a really. Ah, right. <laughs> Yes, do you have a question? I want to participate. Okay, Magdalena and Christian, but hold on. Christian, do you have a question? No, I want to participate. Ah, okay, go ahead. First Magdalena and then Christian, go ahead. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I am, uh, I certainly, uh, don't like work is right that don't like work okay now look at this what do we have here is that a verb it's negative it's auxiliary it's an auxiliary let's see here what happens if i have the auxiliary after the auxiliary it's okay ah, and it's... then is i i don't I don't certainly like work. That That's is right. the one. In this case, remember, you need to separate this verb. So like to work. To work. Like to work. Excellent. That's it. If you have an auxiliary, guys, the phrase, or in this case, the word will go after the auxiliary. So think about it. Auxiliary can be will, don't, doesn't, depends on the grammar tense that you are working on. Christian, it's your turn. Go ahead. Okay. My mom obviously wants me to get up early every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And do you do that? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now look. We got the words, obviously, and then I have a different verb. 
So when I have a different verb, the phrase goes before. As simple as that. Is it clear, this rule, everyone? Yes? Yes, just need practice. I have a question, teacher. Go ahead. Never, never use a verb to be after the obviously or certainly, like maybe the team uh, obviously are sad because lost the 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 match. The, the match. Uh huh. Look. Never use are. Is 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 not good. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, guys. If you are talking, people will understand the idea. Mm -hmm. But grammatically, is not correct. So mm -hmm. if you say, for example, ah, my boss obviously is angry. No, grammatically, is not correct. Okay, so in this case, the verb to be is before the obviously word. Okay. <clears throat> Um, okay. In your in your uh, sentence, always the verb are has to be before. Okay. Before. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yes. Uh huh. Would you give a other example with uh with other words different to the obviously and certain? Please. Absolutely. We are going to see different words. No worries. I will give you more examples, but okay. first I will give you a list of different phrases, no worries. Now, let's see the other one. Uh, Magdaleno, you wanted to read? Hello? Microphone? <laughs> yes, I want. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yes. Uh, I am some the... Uh, sometime, uh, sometimes expressions of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. Thank you. So there is another position that this word can have. And here we got more phrases. Surely, doubtless. What do you think? What is the meaning of surely? When something is sure. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so, the translation teacher is seguramente? Mm, or, more than or... seguramente is like ciertamente. Right? Surely. Mm -hmm. Surely. Yes. Surely and certainly is basically synonyms, guys. Okay? And how about mm -hmm. doubtless? What is that? Without doubt. Exactly. This is like when we say no doubt. That is the meaning of doubtless. Mm -hmm. So you can use these phrases at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. And if you are writing, don't forget to add a comma. For example, I'm going to erase this. And I will say... Surely, <laughs> uh, well, let's see, or doubtless. Mm, okay, surely will be better. Okay, surely, coma, <laughs> my students <laughs> will, you know what I, the point that I want to get, right? Will finish the platform on time, okay? So look, I'm putting the sentence first. The phrase is at the beginning. If you use the phrase at the beginning of the sentence, it doesn't matter if you have auxiliary, if you have a verb to be, or if you have a different verb. It doesn't matter. Okay? Can you give me another example? Teacher, it could be with, uh, with any one of of the phrase anyone you can use certainly obviously surely doubtless it doesn't matter okay, okay? i will give you a list okay a uh, christian do you have a question no i think that i 
Can you have I, a sentence. Can I participate? Yes. Absolutely. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I'm going to work in the platform. Ah, <laughs> I like that. Look, I will work on. Oui, sorry, on the platform. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So look, the word is at the beginning. Okay. Let's see a list of the phrases that you can use, guys. Here we got different words that are expressing certainty or uncertainty. All of these phrases, you can use it following the rules that we just studied. You can use all of these ones. And there are more, but these are like the most common. So what is the purpose? And this is what I want. I really want you to try to memorize these phrases and try to use them. Let's stop saying just yes or no. No, let's try to use these phrases. Okay. Now, there is only one more rule that we need to check. So what happens here? There are, of course, in a likelihood. So we can put these phrases in the middle of the sentence too. If you put it in the middle of the sentences, just don't forget to put it between commas, okay? And if you want, you can also put the phrase at the end of the sentence. So these words can be in any kind of positions. You just have to be careful with the verbs. If you put the phrase at the end of the sentence, just don't forget to add a comma before. In this case, like your classmate said, I will, we, <laughs> sorry. Oops, 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 what happens? Okay, give me a second. Technicians issues. Okay, can you see what I'm sharing? No? No. 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 Oh my no. gosh. Okay, bow now? No. Yes? yes? No? Okay. Yes. So your classmate said, obviously, I will work on the platform. So I can change the position. Okay, and I can put the phrase at the end. And I will say, I will work on the position, comma, obviously. Or I can put it in the middle. Imagine if I put the sentence in the middle, I will work on the platform. Where do I need the word obviously? I obviously will work. I will obviously work or I will work obviously. Where do I need the word? What do you think? After will. After will? Oh, After will? After obviously. will? Uh -huh. I will, obviously. That is the one. It's going to be after the auxiliary. So these are the main positions for these phrases. Is it clear? Yes. ¿Se entiende, guys? Estas son las tres posiciones que podemos usar que son las más comunes para este tipo de palabras. At the beginning, at the end, or in the middle of the sentence. Just be careful if you have the verb to be or if you have a different verb. Clear? Yes? yes Any questions? Teacher, yeah. All right, now let's see the phrases. I hear I have the words. Can you tell me which of these ones represents certainty and which of these ones represents uncertainty? What do you think? For example, certainly. Certainly, what do you think? It's, Express? It's certain. Certain. 
certainty. Certainty, okay. Certainty. How about supposedly? Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Naturally. Certainty. 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 Possibly. Uncertainty. Certainty. Uncertainty. Apparently. Uncertainty. And presumably. Uncertainty. Of course. Certainty. Certainly. Probably. Uncertainty. Obviously. Certainty. Certainty. And doubtless. Certainty. Certainty. All right. So look, it's not so difficult to identify what the meaning of these sentences is, right? So all of these words follows the same rules. Is it clear? Yes? It's okay. Ah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, copy the phrases. We are going to use it. Copy the words, please. Or take a screenshot if you want. Because we are going to use these words. You ready? Yes? Not yet. Yes, okay. ready. Okay, take a screenshot, everyone. Okay. Okay? So, we are going to write sentences using those expressions, and I want to see a correct spelling, a correct position. Um, I was thinking about five sentences, but I think that we don't have like a lot of time. So let's see, I will ask you only three, okay? So everyone, write three sentences. You can use certainly, naturally, obviously, the ones that you prefer. Or you can use uncertainly, possibly, probably, I don't know. Now, you can follow the rules. You can write the phrase at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Now, you will write these sentences on WhatsApp's group. But don't send one by one. Write the three sentences and send it on WhatsApp's group. Okay? Go ahead. Is it clear, the activity? Yes? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, okay. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Three, only three sentences. Use the expression that you prefer. And you can use the position that you prefer. If you write the phrase at the beginning, don't forget to add a comma. So, for example, you can say, naturally, comma, ta, 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 ta. Right? If you write it at the end, comma, and then, obviously. If you write it in the middle, just be sure if you have the verb to be, or if you have another verb, or if you have an auxiliary, okay? Three sentences on WhatsApp's group. If you have a question, just let me know. Teacher. Uh, teacher, hello. Uh -huh. Yes, tell me. I have a doubt with one of my examples. Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, I am not sure. Is correct? Yes. Or I am sure not. 
I am no, not sure. I am not sure. In this case, remember guys, we have the verb to be, I'm not, but because it's negative, we cannot separate it. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure, da -da 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 -da. okay? Okay. Three sentences, everyone, only three. If you have a question, just let me know. I want you to use these words. You can use the position that you prefer. You can use certainty or uncertainty words. It's up to you, the ones that you prefer. Teacher, what would be, um, what does unlikely mean? Teacher, hello, are you there? Sorry, I, I was muted. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that my headsets, they are locked themselves. I mean... I don't even push the bottom and, and he's like, they are mute. Okay, what was your question? I'm sorry. What does unlikely mean? Unlikely is like when you don't have a lot of possibilities. So it's difficult that something happens. For example, I can say, um, it's unlikely in my city, now let me think another one. Um, unlikely will rain in my city. I don't think so. It's I don't have a lot of possibilities. In percent, in percent, how much is it? Mm, almost impossible. Impossible. Almost. So basically, wow. if you want almost to impossible. uh huh, if you want to translate it, is like improbable, right? Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. That will be. Yes. Okay. It's very clear. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I can see your classmates already sent the sentences. I'm reading the other ones. Let's see. <laughs> I like the second sentence. Teacher Clarissa certainly loves coffee. <laughs> okay. I do. I do. <laughs> Magdaleno, did you read the uh, sentence number three that Jasmine wrote? Yes, I am. <laughs> I, I am reading that just now. <laughs> okay, I like that. Maybe Magdaleno. Hmm, be careful, be careful. <laughs> Maybe I am in a parking lot receiving my class. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Somebody's going to sleep in the sofa. Maybe with Canelo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> too much. <laughs> okay, guys, send your sentences. So if you see, you can use different positions, guys. It's not just at the beginning, it's not just at the end, it's just not in the middle. You can use the sentence that it is easier for you. The most important thing is to use different vocabulary. And don't forget the spelling rules. This is specific if you are going to write. If you are going to put these phrases at the beginning, don't forget punctuation marks, okay? 
If it is at the beginning, you need a comma. If you are going to put it at the end, yes. Sorry, continue. I have, it's not a not a question, but it's I, I don't know how to explain it. But okay, today someone in my work told me that that in English we don't use comma, and she said that she never wrote the comma, but in English we don't it doesn't exist. That's what she says, but I'm not sure, or I don't know, but I was I was writing a, a letter for the gurus, and I was writing the comma, mm -hmm. but she, she told me that, that I, so I'm not sure if we don't use the comma on letters, or, or in general. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, guys, that's pretty weird. Because if we don't use or if we don't need commas, like in English in general, when we are writing, grammar books wouldn't ask you to learn the position of the commas, right? If we don't need it, I think that grammar books will be specific, right? Like it, commas are only when you are writing a book or an essay but not if you are writing an email, right? So I consider that we do need comas. Remember, and this is not only in Spanish, comas has like an important meaning. They are uh, giving you the intonation when you are reading, they are separating ideas. So I think when you are talking, no problem at all. If you are writing messages, I mean, it's fine. But if you are going to write letters, emails, I think commas are very important. Commas are important because they can give you a complete meaning in a conversation that a tone of voice cannot do it because it's a writing text. Okay, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah so everybody send your sentences okay I like the sentences you're writing I liked it don't forget guys you can use different words not only obviously okay try to use different ones Okay, I like the sentences, guys. Okay, I will continue reading the sentences by the end of the class. I will read all of them. I always do. Now, is it clear the way these phrases works? Yes? Questions about it? Or piece of cake? I need practice. <laughs> we need to practice, of course. Practice and memorize. <laughs> Practice and memorize. Uh-huh. Anyone else? Yes? Easy? <clears throat> ready for an exam? Yes, we are. <laughs> ready, ready. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, guys. Come on, come on. <laughs> excellent. Stretch your arms. Los veo así como a little tired, a little stressed. What happens, guys? It's Wednesday. It's almost Friday. So relax a little just, bit. Just a little sleepy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, Magdaleno, what happens that you are worried, not sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to check attendance one more time. When you listen to your name, stay present. Eh, Adriana. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. Okay. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Germán Alexander. Present. Okay. Héctor Francisco. Present. Okay. Isabel Hernández. Isabel Hernández. Iván Guzmán. Present. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Okay. Holman Saúl. Present. Okay. Lucy Narali. 
Lucy Natalie. Okay, Magdalena Escalante. Present, teacher. Okay, Mirna Present, Elizabeth. Present, teacher Lucy. Okay, Lucy. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present, present. Okay, Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay, Oscar Armando. Present, teacher. Okay, Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay, very good. Okay. Let's see, let's change the topic and so you can wake up, wake up everyone, okay? Now, let's stop thinking about the certainty uh, phrases and let's go back talking to the distribution channels for a product, okay? That basically that is the topic that we need to study today. It's just a continuation of the previous topic. Now, which products do you think need a faster distribution speed. What do you think? Which product do you think that they need a faster distribution? Food. Which food. one? Food. food. What kind Seafood. of food? Teacher, it is, a, it, it is a meat, a meat, meat and um, cheese mm -hmm. and uh, fruit. Ah, very good. It so, was it was a name in Spanish, it's perecederos, but I don't know what is the word in in English. Uh huh. That's a good one. Everybody, one point to the one who gets it. Perishable. No. Perishable. No. Well, I, I I have never heard that. I know another <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, short. Lived. That is the one that I know. Uh, I have never heard perishable, but yeah. maybe. <laughs> perishable uh, means I never. Yeah, I have never heard that. Did you see in the dictionary? Yes, I yes I use the dictionary and say perishable, but I'm not sure. <laughs> is is like like this one? Perishable. Yes. Ah. Yes. Okay, that's a new word for me. Thank you. Perishable. The ones that I know is this short. short life lived that means so it's a nice. product that they will last a few time okay let's see okay what else so we say seafood meat cheese even fruits and vegetables right now what distribution a uh, distribution method is your company using what do you think? Think about your company. Do you use any distribution channels? competition t-shirt? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, yes. Think about your competitors. I mean, you have, you are working for a company, so think about your competitors. What distribution channels are they using? Uh -huh. Is direct channels, retail channels, or Direct wholesale? channels, I think. Direct, okay. Direct, direct channel. Direct channel too, okay. The company, the way the, the way the, the distribution is a retailer. Ah. Um, how, how, Wholesale. Wholesales. Wholesale channels. Wholesales. Two, uh, two channels. Okay. Very good. So I'm asking this in order that you remember the type of channels that we have. Now I will need people for reading. Who wants to read? A one. Thank you, Magdaleno. Who else? I Me? I never read. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Erica. So, Magdaleno, you will be Ed. Erica, you will be Philip. Let me try to do it bigger. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, no, no. It's up, up, up. Can you see the conversation? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, Magdaleno, you start. Go ahead. Um, the business is going well. 
I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the boat is always packaged with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy it. I'm sorry, I don't say it. Okay, he will me... want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, very good. What is the product that they are selling? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice, ice cream. cream. Okay, let's answer the questions. What channels are they uh, suggesting? What channel of distribution? Retail. Retail. Everyone, what do you think? Yes, it's, it's like, like yes, one of them are selling for the other people want to, for the other, for, I, I love my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so all right in this is retail retail uh -huh. in this moment what is the channels that they are using what is the ones that they are using wholesales wholesales everybody what do you think direct channel direct channels okay look at this the booth is always packed with people. So we have to set our own ice cream shop. What do you understand for this? Retail stores. They want, they want to set their own retail stores. That's why we can say that the retail stores or the retail channels are the ones that Philip is suggesting, okay? Now, do Ed and Philip know how to run a store? Yes or no? Do they know how to run a business? No. They know. <laughs> no. They know, right? We don't know anything about running a business. They don't know that. So that is exactly what we are going to do right now. Do you think, guys, can you run a business? Can you start running a business? What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> so let's do it in this moment we are going to work in teams i want you to imagine that you want to start your own business so think about what the product will be okay what will be the product ah for example uh, we are going to sell fruits okay fruits you have to tell me what kind of fruits and then you have to tell me what distribution channels you will use and why okay think about if your product needs a fast distribution or if it is not okay and then we are going to share your opinion with the classmates is it clear what you will do right now yes it's clear yes Okay, remember, when you think about the product, it can be food or it can be any other type of product. I just want you to think which distribution channels will be better. I know that direct channel, it's like very positive, but that is not the only one. So think about it. Okay, we're going to have 10 minutes for this activity, so then you can present it. Let me just create the groups and everybody do your best. We are going to have different teams. Let me just open up the teams one second. Okay, okay, let's see. 
Okay, we will have group of four. Okay, there will be only one team of three. Okay, let's go. Hello, lady. Hello. 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 Me too. And you, Erika? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hola, hi. Now, now. Okay, <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> I, 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 Hello. okay, well, what's, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe the internet or. I don't know, I need a new phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excuse to, <laughs> to buy a new one. Okay. Tell working me. teams. Tell mm. me. Imagine you want to start your own business, say the first uh, questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what will be the product? What would you like to sell? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, my own business. <laughs> I think that may be food, maybe ta eh, burritos. <laughs> ah, tacos. <laughs> burritos. Burri no, burritos. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mexican food, yes, but as a, as a concept, but the fast food, maybe burri burritos and, uh, and concept fast food. Yeah, yeah. Sharing the gringos eat a uh, burrito bowl, like yeah. it. Are you there? Hi, hello, Herman. Hello, guys. <laughs> hey, wake Hi. up. Listen, I have some guys that they are alone in the group, so I'm going to send it to you, okay. So I'm going to send Christian and I'm going to send Rosalina because they are alone. Okay. okay. Hello, Christian. Hello, Christian. Hello. I'm sorry, I switched you from the team. Uh, hello, Rosalina. Okay, you will be working here with the guys because uh, you were just only you two. So you will join to this team, okay? Okay. Very okay. good. We won't hear you. What is your idea? For me, Charles and Isabel, I think, don't, don't stay. Hmm? Okay. Charles and Isabel, maybe uh, they listen, listeners? Yes. Okay. And what is your, your product? Um, oh, um, you, you didn't have the product. I I want um a car business. <laughs> car business? Yes. In, oh. Import. Import. Import and uh -huh. import and sell. Import and sell. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, we can choose that. This is a war, war, war sale channel, I think, or not. You say import cars, cars. yes, and is direct, direct channel. Oh, you need to use a uh, hot seller on 
I think that you can use not just one channel, the fees, you can use direct channel, I think, if it's possible. But you can use, for example, uh, reseller or, 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 or make a page, an online store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Fatima said a retailer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, because I I buy to to a page online the US USA. Uh huh. And I a retail. A retail, mm -hmm. and then the second one say. What would be your distribution channel and why? It can be retail. Is is the channel where we can we, we can interact directly with the customers? That is that is the case with the gym and in my case with the, my restaurant. Is the same. I have I have a a retail with a retail channel with my own business, but with the next with the with my restaurant, I think so. I think with this with uh, in this distribution face to face one to one. I don't remember what is the name of that. Sometimes someone remember. No, I don't remember uh, too. Which one? The one on one. Yes, the one first. On the direct. first. Uh, di direct is the direct. Yes, direct. Product. Carlos, Dictation. Carlos, uh, Carlos' business is a gym. They have to distribute uh, his service. Uh, di in direct. Uh, I uh, forget again. Direct, direct channel. channel. Direct, direct, direct channel. channel. With direct channel, is is the same case in a in a um, in a business with food. We have to. We can have. We will have uh, branches, but they are not. They are not other channels of distribution. It is zero channel. But they are directly with the clients. Is right, teacher? No. Yeah, sounds good. The situation is that Carlos Arroda said, said, no, I don't have distribution channel. But they, yes, yes, they surely have a distribution channel. It's direct channels. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, two more minutes. You have two more minutes. Okay, I bang. Mm, only that. Um, I I imagine uh, I imagine uh, uh, the the business the the clothes for gentlemen. I hope uh, that so you that you make your own clothes or no. No, no. I I buy a a, a fabric, a fabric, um, and I distribution in, in retail store. You will be made the 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 clothes or no? No, no. Uh, yeah, I you buy will sell. The, yes, only only sell. Just sells, just buy and sells, right? Of, of course. <laughs> My goodness, what? Yes, yes, Hector, because you use at the at the end at the at the beginning. The okay, okay. certainly I yes. the structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The structure is, yes. yeah. it's correct, Hector. Okay, okay. 
I think, yeah. Erica. What do you think? <laughs> Erica. Yeah, the exercise. What we, that we do it. You can you can use at the at the beginning and in, in the middle or at yes. the end. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But if you use a verb, you should you have you should say it yes, like. Verb. Okay, time's up. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, we are going to wait for your classmates. Time's up, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's see. Your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. My gosh, let's wait for them. Okay, everybody, time's up. Did you pick the product? Yes? Could you pick a product? Yes? Okay. Could you choose the distribution channel? Yes? Yes. All right. Let's start with the team number one. In the team number one, I had Erika, Hector, Mirna, and Oscar, I, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, what's your product? Someone in the team? Three, three different kind, teacher. You have three different kind of products. Yes, for each 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 person, a uh, uh, one Choose product the... for sale. Okay, okay. So, Hector, tell me yours. In my case, plant ornamental plant and fruit plant. For sale and, and use the use the retail channel because I don't have a lot of space for pro produce my uh, my own plants. I need to uh, buy a few and sell. No, buy a lot and sell a few. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Erica, how about you? In my case, I talk about bakery. And what is the retail channel? Direct direct channel. Because I'm going to bake it and I'm going to sell it on my own store. Ah, okay. Yes. Very good. How about you, Mirna? In my case, I, select, uh, I choose uh, burritos, <laughs> Mexican <laughs> food, but uh, in a concept fast food, but at the at the beginning, because I, I will I, I will go in uh entrepreneur <laughs> uh, the i use the direct channel direct I, channel yes sounds good guys nice uh, hector were you in the team sorry was hector I'm, I'm sorry was oscar in the team yes teacher i i cannot participate uh, ah. But it's uh, coming uh, later. Ah, okay. Got it. All right. Let's see. Well, we don't have, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So team number two and team number three, you are going to present the information tomorrow. So don't forget it, okay? When I ask you tomorrow, don't forget it. Now, listen, uh, are you tired today? Yes. <laughs> yes? yes, everyone? Yes. Without okay. a doubtless. <laughs> doubtless. Doubtless. Okay, listen. So I'm not going to ask anyone to stay today, okay? Because I know that you might feel tired, okay? So you can freely go to sleep. But, <laughs> but guys, honestly, I need you to review and try to memorize the vocabulary so you can use it, okay? Don't forget, you have the platform. Try to advance because I don't want you to be at the end of the day like running because you haven't finished, okay? So guys, I don't want you to stay anymore. Go to sleep, try to relax, and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye.